The city is calling it an isolated incident after some El Paso residents claimed the recycling bins were being collected by the trash truck. ABC 7 Shelby Montgomery spoke with neighbors in Sunset Heights and she is live with more. Shelby. Stephanie, this is the back alley where the trash and the recycling bin gets collected for Juan Delgado and his fiance. Right now, his bins are behind that black fence. Now, he said this problem has been happening for about a month and a half, and then he decided to approach the driver. Come to find out, he's not the only person in this neighborhood who saw this problem happening. This is video captured by a Sunset Heights resident, both the blue bin and the gray bin being dumped into the same truck. He wants to remain anonymous, but he said seeing this was disheartening because he tries his best to do what's right. Pretty much wasting my time for trying to recycle. For Juan Delgado, he says he was also trying to do his part by recycling and questioned why his recycling bin was also being dumped in the trash truck. It was extremely frustrating, you know, because like you said, you do spend time doing it. You have to go through a class in order to get the bin. The city's Environmental Services Department, or ESD, was alerted about the issue and checked the truck's cameras. When we hear of a situation like this, we go in and check to make sure to see what's going on and provide backup information to see if or if not uh, this situation happened. This is an example of the different angles on a trash truck. You can see the inside of the truck and the outside. After review, the department says the crew was at fault. And then we did find that um, our, one of our manual crews was collecting both the trash and recycling in a single truck. And um, we, we've talked to this, we've addressed the issue with them to, this is not an acceptable practice with ESD. To prevent this from happening again, ESD says it will be going over protocol with each crew. We're always in continuous uh, training of our employees. But the department says there are incidents where it is protocol to dump the recycling in the trash truck. So once in a while you will see our, our drivers collect the, the blue bins as part of a, um, because there's so much contamination in there, they'll take it as part of the trash. Nicholas Ibarra with ESD says if there is contamination in your blue bin, it will be tagged or you'll see a notification and you'll also get a visit from the codes department. So it's always best to know what you can and can't recycle. Stephanie. So Shelby, what can you recycle? So you can recycle paper, plastic, aluminum and also cardboard, but there are certain categories, items within those categories that you can't recycle. For example, you can recycle this paper plate, but it has to be unused. You can also recycle cereal boxes, but the lining inside of them has to be taken out and thrown away. You can also recycle holiday cards because it is paper, but you can't recycle this one because it does have glitter on that and it can't go inside the recycling bin. If you have, if you need more information about what you can and cannot recycle, you can find a list under this story at kvia.com. Live in West El Paso, Shelby Montgomery, ABC7. I'll tell you another one that gets every one of those pizza boxes. If it has grease on the box, you can't recycle the box. You can rip off the top portion, recycle that part. The other part has to go into the trash bin.